PJ here, founder of XGym. And uh, those who know me know that I'm a health and fitness researcher. Been doing it, total research nerd for about 30 years now. And um, so I know how to read research papers and look stuff up and uh, doing a lot of research over the last few decades on health, fitness, nutrition, things like that. And so anytime something new comes along, of course, I'm interested. And uh, this PCR test stuff is really interesting. So here's a article I found that um, it's a study that was done to determine if the PCR test is a good way to find out if patients can be discharged, um, if they're safe, and not infectious anymore. So <clears throat> there's this chart down here that's really interesting. And I blew it up in a new tab here. You can see um, this is the chart that they use to show the effectiveness of the PCR test and the cycles that they're using. So CT stands for cycle threshold. And the, it's kind of like a microscope. So you've got microscope and you've got different lenses that you can click over to look deeper and deeper into what you're looking at. And so, you know, you got your 10 magnification and then you got your 20 and then your 30 and then you get all the way down to hundreds of magnifications when you like, want to look at red blood cells and things like that. So that's like the, the cycle threshold. So you're dialing in more and more to try to find something. And what they found is that um, you can see down here 13 to 17 cycle thresholds is kind of the sweet spot. And the probability of the accuracy, the test being accurate is really high, like 100%. And well, I don't think that's true. No test is 100%, but it's high. Okay, it's really high, up to 17 cycle thresholds. And then you go down to, then it, it starts taking a nosedive. And then it goes up a little bit, and then it starts coming down and more and more and more until you get to about 34 35, 36, and it's basically then it's worthless because then you're finding just artifacts of particles of past coronavirus cold infections that the person had in the past. And it's just way too sensitive. So they're talking about viral load here. If you have a really high viral load, then 13 to 17 is all you need and it's going to be pretty accurate, but, and you're, you're probably still contagious, so you shouldn't be released should be in quarantine or just stay in the hospital until you get a lower viral load. But what they're doing now with all of us here is with this PCR test is they're, they're using super high cycle threshold thresholds. So they're getting massive amounts of false positives. And even Tony Fauci in this video here says this same, this same thing. But you never, if you almost never can culture virus. Yeah from a 37 threshold cycle. So the, I think if somebody does come in with 37, 38, even 36, you got to say, you know, it's just, it's just dead nucleotides, period. Mm. Boom. And then for people who are symptomatic, here's another chart. There's a study um, on this with some really good researchers just back in August talks about if you're using the PCR test between cycles of 10 and 30, then on day three and four, it's pretty high probability over here, you know, between 60 and 80 percent of the test is going to be accurate. But past day seven, forget it. So it just falls off the cliff. And so we're looking at all these different things and these different uh, CTs and tests and studies and the tests. Four of the major, the four most common tests that they're using right now are all over 37. And look down here, 36 is when it is completely worthless. And we're making policy decisions and lockdowns and closing businesses on this. It's just, it's insane. It's crazy. So hope this helped. Hope it, uh, this made sense to you. I wanted to make it simple for people to understand and um, follow me for more info and more stuff. Thanks. Bye-bye.